Though we are in the middle of October, we are looking at severe weather potential for Saturday afternoon and evening that should cover most of the state of Iowa. Thanks for joining us. This is the National Weather Service in Des Moines with a quick 60-second severe weather briefing. The biggest severe weather threats that we'll be looking out for is damaging winds and the potential for a couple short-lived weak tornadoes across the state. Additionally, frequent lightning is expected as, as this line of storms moves across from western Iowa to eastern Iowa during the afternoon and evening Saturday. From around 3 to 5 p.m., the storm should be near west central Iowa. This includes the Fort Dodge area. Then it's looking like by 7 to 10 o'clock, storms should be near the I-35 corridor, which includes Des Moines. And then after that, as we head to the 10 p.m. to midnight hour, storms will start to head towards Waterloo and Cedar Rapids. Here's the latest Storm Prediction Center outlook. Again, pretty much the entire state's going to see thunderstorms, many of them strong and a couple of them severe, especially from Mason City to Fort Dodge to Des Moines all the way out to Waterloo. <laughs> spc.noaa.gov is where you go to get your latest information from the Storm Prediction Center. Also on our website, weather.gov slant Des Moines, and we'll be on Twitter and Facebook at NWS Des Moines 24-7, 365 to keep you safe and protected. Again, timing-wise, pretty much all afternoon and evening across the state of Iowa, and we'll be looking at the potential for some damaging winds and a few uh, short-lived weak tornadoes and frequent lightning as well. Thank you for watching and stay safe.